My name is Merv Shepherd, and uh, I've got quite a story to tell about Toronto General Hospital. Just a little over 10 years ago, uh, my doctor, not here, but out, outside somewhere, told me that I had a fatal lung disease and uh, I had no more than two years left to live. And I it was quite taken back by that, like anyone would be when they were told they had two years left to live. And I said, well, what about a lung transplant? He said, well, you can't have a lung transplant. And I said, why? Well, he said, you're too old. I said, what do you mean too old? They said, well, we have a cutoff age of 55. I was 65 at the time. And they said, that's, that's too bad. But you know what happened? I remember driving home. It was from Hamilton. It was Hamilton uh, Hospital. And I was driving home. And I said to myself, I'm going to get a lung transplant. doesn't matter if I have to go to Bangladesh. I'm going to get a lung transplant. Because I wasn't ready to die yet. And I was really lucky. I got plugged into the lung transplant program at Toronto General Hospital. And I sat down in Dr. Kachachi's office. Across from him, him, he was one side of the desk, I was the other. And we got to talking. And prior to that, I had been in um, for an assessment of all my various organs and everything. And, you know, he said, Merv, I'm going to raise the bar and take a chance and put you on a waiting list for a lung transplant. Because that's the history of Toronto General Hospital. They're always raising the bar. They're always um, world leaders in research, especially in lung transplantation. I know they are in the other areas as well, but I'm kind of biased towards lung transplantation now. And, um, you know, 25 days later, after that meeting I had with Dr. Gushachi, I got a phone call at 2 o'clock in the morning and I said, is this Merv Shepard? And I said, yeah. I said, um, well, this is Trillium Gift of Life Network calling. We have new lungs for you. I couldn't believe it. I said, wow. They said, how do you feel? I said, pretty good. They said, are you on antibiotics? I said, no. When did you eat last? I said, I don't know, around 5 o'clock last night. I said, okay. You'll be at Toronto General Hospital within two hours. And so I got here. I made it within two hours. And they told me not to try to drive myself. I remember that. So, But anyway, I got here, and um, I came in, and uh, the whole hospital was closed except the eMERGE was open. And they admitted me there and uh, gave me some preliminary tests and wheeled me up into the reception area for the operating room. And standing there, all dressed up in a suit and tie, just like he is today, right now, 5 o'clock in the morning, was Dr. Shaskashev. I couldn't believe it. I said, what are you doing here? He said, well, I came here to give you an extra 10 years of life support. Well, that was eight years ago. And uh, this past December, I turned 75. And so uh, I've got another two years to go for my extra 10 years of life, but I think, uh, I think that I'm going to be... Um, Maybe the, lo the um, hopefully, the longest, oldest lung transplant uh, from Toronto General Hospital. But my message is that um, uh, the work that they do here at Toronto General Hospital is unbelievably innovative. They're world leaders. Uh, the results of their work is having a global impact right now. When... Um, Scientists and physicians from all over the world heard about this ex vivo lung uh, perfusion system. They flocked here to see what was going on, and now they're doing it in their centers all back in various countries. So um, my message is that um, you couldn't be supporting a more wonderful organization than uh, Toronto General Hospital. Thanks very much.